your success is dependent entirely on you and your passion and your drive and how badly you want it. But not once ever since I've come to this country have I felt like I couldn't do something I wanted to do. I am very proud of being a Yemeni woman. I, you know, I, it may sound like I've left and, you know, Canada has been wonderful to me. And the bigger culture shock before I came to Canada was when I went to uh, Missouri because I was 17, I just got married, left my family behind, I'm in this new town in the middle of like middle America and 13,000 people and um, 8,000 of those were the students at the university and I like the first time I'm taking my veil off and I started smoking and I started wearing short shorts and belly shirts and I went to rock concerts and like there's so many firsts and it was just like that was the big culture shock. <laughs> Design, I always say design is the last thing we do because we problem solve. The client comes to us with, with a challenge. You know, we want to sell this product or we want people to donate to our cause or we want um, people to invest in our company. We want them to buy our shares. Whatever it is, they come to us with a problem and our job is, is not to design a brochure. Our job is to solve that problem. Zara, she's never okay with status quo. You know, she's always looking to push the limits. And, and, and you can see it in our work and the way we, we approach our business. We are always a step above and, and her voice determines that and how, how she teaches us to work. It's all about pushing the limits and, and succeeding. So I think it's the generosity of everybody around me that's allowed me to, to, to become who I am. My one daughter sent me this email the other day. She kind of went through something and uh, um, I talked to her on the phone and then I was still a little worried about her. She lives in Vancouver. And so I sent her a text and I'm like, are you okay? And the text that she sent me back made me cry because she said, yeah, I'm fine. I'm tough like my mother. My voice is ever changing. It's ever evolving and ever changing and I'm learning something every single day. And I think, I, I don't think I would change anything, the good or the bad, if I could go back and change my life and say, okay, here's what I want to pick and choose it. I wouldn't change a thing because every single thing that's happened over the years, whether it was, you know, scud missiles coming at us every night or, or you know, living, a, 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 living in Dallas or wherever I was, all of those pieces make me who I am and it, all of those pieces taught me something. And I, I don't know who I'd be if I didn't have this piece or if I didn't have this piece. So it's, it, it's, it kind of makes me the person that I am.